Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you and uh, the name of this video is uh, Chargaff's Rule and uh, I will talk about that rule when I will explain how to solve the second problem and the first problem is um, given the sequence and here is the sequence um, what would be the sequence of the complementary DNA strand so here is uh, the sequence and basically in order to solve this problem everything we have to know is that uh, adenine always base pairs with thymine and cytosine always base pairs with guanine so adenine would base pairs with thymine here cytosine, adenine, adenine here, thymine, guanine guanine, adenine, cytosine and thymine and uh, double stranded DNA uh, each strand would go in different directions so we would have 5 prime and here and 3 prime and here so let's check and compare our answers here we have sequence TCAA, TCAA, TGG, TGG but what's wrong with this sequence? Uh, wrong 5 prime end and 3 prime end. We have here 3 prime end, TCAA, but uh, in answer 5 prime end is given here. So this is wrong answer. Answer B, 3 prime end, AG, and we have TC, so this is also wrong answer. Answer C, 5 prime end, and AG, TT. 5 prime end, we have T, so uh, 3 prime end, T C A G G, T C A A, so this is also uh, wrong answer, and answer E, 5 prime end, T C A G G, T C, 5 prime end, T C A G G, T A A, T A A, and C T. CT and 3 prime end. So basically, uh, as you see, this is the correct answer. Uh, basically, in our answer, this strand just flip uh, over and uh, sequence is the same. So 5 prime end and would go uh, sequence up to this 3 prime end. So this is the same sequence if we just uh, flip it we are going to get the same sequence as here. By the way, uh, when scientists or genetists uh, need to order, say, primer, so if uh, they are interested in this sequence, they wouldn't put the sequence uh, like this. They would order and would put sequence in the order like this. Uh, all orders, when uh, given to, say, third company who would make oligonucleotides or primers would start with 5 prime end because basically uh, molecule doesn't have like left part or right part it would uh, find its uh, position within DNA if it is for example would be uh, primer and primer doesn't have uh, like left flank and uh, right flank it has just 5 prime end and 3 prime end. So next question. If the percentage of uracil in double stranded RNA molecule is 30%, uh, the percentage of cytosine is, and here we see five answers to choose from. And once again, in order to solve this problem, we are going to use Chargaff's rule. And here is a picture of this scientist, Erwin Chargaff, uh, was uh, Austro. Hungarian uh, biochemist who discovered uh, that uh, in DNA number of purines always equals to number of pyrimidines and uh, number of uh, adenines equals to number of zymines and number of cytosines equals to number of guanines. So uh, he met uh, famous uh, Watson and Crick 
and uh, told them uh, about his discovery that led uh, later scientists uh, to discover structure of the DNA. Basically, he um, postulated two rules, and uh, the second rule is that uh, proportion of uh, adenine and uh, thymine to cytosine and guanine uh, in different species, in different organisms, would be also different. So this helped to understand scientists of those days that uh, DNA can be a source of the uh, inheritance because many scientists at that time were thinking that uh, four bases were not enough in order to code for all the proteins and were thinking that uh, proteins themselves were hydrity material. So let's now return to our problem. If the percentage of uracil in double-stranded RNA and in RNA, thymine would be substituted with uracil. So we also can put uh, uracil here. Uh, if it is going to be uh, RNA, then instead of thymine, we would have uracil that is going to be spare with adenine. So uh, if uracil would equal to 30%, then uh, we know that it always bespares with adenine. We know that uh, quantity of the adenine also would equal to 30%. If we know the frequency uh, of uh, uracil and adenine, which is 60%, that gives us information that the rest 40% would be uh, cytosine and guanine. And basically, cytosine would equal to 20%, and guanine also would equal to 20%. So, once again, if uracil would make 30%, then uh, we are looking for, for percentage of cytosine. Cytosine would equal to 20%, and this is answer A. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.